your daily updates. Newsman Dennis Daly offers his take on the events of the day in another daily video blog. Hi, and thanks again, everybody. The photo you are looking at might not mean much to you, but that's the house back in Indiana where I lived until I was 30 years old. It's now a daycare center. But if you notice on the right side behind the garage, my radio tower is still back there. The reason I bring this up is that I grew up in that simple Kmart kind of society. But recently I visited a house here in Palm Springs that was nothing like the house I used to live in. Here's a gorgeous set of doors. We had wooden doors on my house at home, but these are exquisite. The man who owns the house, well, let's just say he didn't mind me photographing, but he kind of wanted to hide his identity. For he lives in a beautiful, beautiful home, which has an automatic piano running most of the time. This is just a little piece of the living room. And the magic of this room is not only the fireplace and the warmth of it, but also the furniture and the wealth of photographs of a man's career that seemed to go on forever. And the patio outside in good weather is open directly into the living room. It's a gorgeous place. You know, it kind of scares me though to come to people's houses when the houses are this elegant for I just feel I don't really belong there. And as he showed me around the house and I took the tour, I began to realize that any one of those pieces of furniture was probably more costly than what I used to make when I was working every year. Yes, there is plushness and newness everywhere. And I wanted you to see this, because if you're in my income bracket and you led the kind of life I did over the years, you never really get to a place like this. You never really get to see a home where you just want to have a dinner party. Even the bathroom is elegant, and it's big enough to have about 12 people over to take a shower if that's your idea of a good time. By the way, this fellow didn't always own this house. Before he bought this little million six bungalow, he owned the house that Liberace used to live in. Maybe that's why the decorations all look like candelabras. Well, I'm pretty happy I grew up at 107 John back in Washington, Indiana. At least there I didn't walk around afraid I was going to knock something over. I'm Dennis Daly with your daily news update.